So if you don't know by now, the creators of Smite and Paladins, hi res those guys, they made their first ever real shooter in Rogue Company, which you're watching right now. I think this game is awesome. I got it in a couple months ago on the Alpha on the Xbox One. I wish I could show you gameplay from it, but there was an NDA and you can't actually show that. But the game has come a long way and I love this game. It is so fun. It takes the search and destroy or whatever Counter-Strike calls it, demolition mode, and kind of makes it into a hero shooter in a way, but not exactly a hero shooter like in Valorant. No, this is something very different. It's closer to if Call of Duty Specialists were a thing from like Black Ops uh, 4. Pseudo-realistic abilities that the rogues have. Rogues are the characters in the game that you play. And it's a 4v4 game mode. I love it. It's a lot of fun. Each character has like a different set that you can build. Each round you buy, you do the normal thing, but each character, even though it has specific abilities, doesn't have the same exact perks from like each character. So Ronin and Dallas's perks that you can buy are not the same. Same goes for the guns and the secondaries, but like pretty much for this, all the melee weapons kind of do the same damage for the most part, I believe. I don't really screw around with those much because I'm not good with them. But I think they're all one hit kills. But the game is a lot of fun. Uh, right now, I think the base pack, like it's gonna be a free to play game. The base pack is $15 on all platforms to get into the beta. It, it's like a founder's pack. It's just to get people in and, and trying it and make a little bit of money here. I luckily got in, so I didn't have to pay the 15 bucks. Um, but I would gladly pay it because it's a very good game. I also like the mode that wasn't available to us in the uh, pre-alpha, which was, or not the pre-alpha, the alpha, which is like a capture the center hill and then kill the enemy team from and dwindle their pool. First team to lose all their lives loses the round and it's first to three rounds so it can go wild and uh well not what i really like about it is it's just fast it's, it's a good casual mode it's competitive mode and people are gonna get in and play a couple games and go okay now it's time to move on to the next one i know third person games aren't really everyone's cup of tea but this works really well, and what I really like is the shoulder switch, which on the Xbox is the right bumper. It is very smooth, it's so fluid, and it, it makes sense to really teach yourself which angles are going to be good for you. And it's, it doesn't take much learning, but you can say that if your guy, your shoulder is or you're overlooking the left shoulder, it's better to go around right corners because then you have a better angle at them. And if they don't switch, then they're lacking uh, lines of sight and you can win that fight. Going into the fights also, I know it looks like a very real, like a realistic world kind of game, but you have a little bit of armor like on certain characters and the time to kill or the TTK is just perfect, I believe. I think it's absolutely perfect. It doesn't take too long, but it also gives you enough time to come back in a fight. So you get shot and you're like, oh crap, I'm not dead right away. You can dodge out of the way or, or find cover fairly quick. And that's what I like about it is you can still win a fight if you already got shot. You can turn around and get all the headshots if the guy isn't hitting all the shots in the proper placement. It's a good feeling knowing that you can actually win. Like I know in Call of Duty, like I love playing Search and Destroy in Call of Duty, but if I don't see the guy right away, I lost the fight. I run around a corner, I sneak around the corner, he just puts one shot into me and I'm pretty much all dead. But this game, 
even though it kind of sounds like it's a even playing field, even if you do get a advantage on a per or the person gets an advantage on you, you can still lose that fairly easy. Um, you also have abilities like Ronin's ability, like the, it's a so it's a cooldown system in the search and destroy mode. So it takes a little bit to get to, and then if you use it, it works. Like Dallas, um, like you can use it and it comes back. Dallas lets you see through it like like a radar, and it only lasts I want to say like 10 seconds or it. So you can get some good information on it, but then it immediately goes away. And then it, if you live long enough, it can come back. It's a very good way of doing it. Um, there's certain things that need to be fixed, like. The, big dude with a, a shield my buddy trapped the guy in and we won a game just because we trapped him and there's no way of getting around it i think that, that can be fixed um but I, I definitely recommend giving it this game a shot to people it's fun uh the one thing i do hope they do is i i hope it goes to 5v5 i think 4v4 is a little small but 5v5 wouldn't be a deal breaker um, I'm seeing people play it like Summit. Go watch those guys, hopefully get a Twitch drop, and get in. I think this game could have legs. I can definitely see an eSport coming in the very near future for this game. Um, and the fact that you can play on your Switch and then on the go, and then come back and play on your Xbox or your PC is awesome. I'm really excited to see where hi Rise is going with this. I can definitely see that they really care about the competitive integrity of the game because one of the lead developers is Scott Lucier who's Gandhi from the old Halo 2 MLG days and you can definitely tell that he's taken inspiration from the old Halo days because max rank for the ranking system is what he said is going to be 50 and if you don't know Halo the max rank was 50 um, I, I love this game. I'm really having a good time with it. The casual mode is still fun um, and it's still competitive and you can't really ask for anything else besides that. Having a competitive game as well as a casual game, it's perfect. It's kind of reminding me of what early Fortnite was where people are just having fun. Um, and having a real ranked system can be great. Skill based matchmaking won't be a thing. So yeah, that's, that's just my initial thoughts on the game. I'm really excited to see more people playing it. I love watching it on Twitch and people play it on YouTube. So if you want to wait, fine. But if you want to get in on early on something that I, I can really see having a, a good, bright future, pay the 15 bucks, get in. And you know what? That's it for me. I'm going to go... I don't know how much left of the gameplay you have to watch, but if you made it this far, do the normal YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Bye.
lethal out. Money, you are so slow. Enemies are running low on reinforcements. Crush them. I'm down. You're out of life. You're all that's left. No more reinforcements. What did you expect?
Get it back. Objective secured. Defend it. Friendly's eliminated. That's gonna hurt the bottom line. One reinforcement remaining. We're out of reinforcements. Lethal out. Get me up. I'm not done. Need help. 45 seconds remaining. What Enemy goes around, five partner? lives left. Keep up the pressure. Oh, great. More for me. Wiped out. 